So hey guys, welcome to our video on setting up a local development environment. Today we are going to explore the importance of having a local development environment and how to set up one for yourself. A local development environment provides a safe and secure space for developers to test their code and experiment with new technologies without fear of breaking anything. It's like having your own personal playground for coding. Setting up a local PHP development environment is an important step for any PHP developer. It enables you, you to test and debug your code on your own computer rather than a live server. As a developer, setting up an environment is crucial for your performance. Not only it allows you to develop and test your code locally, but it also saves your time and frustration in long run. Without a local environment, you may find yourself constantly uploading files to a remote server for testing, which can be slow and tedious. Additionally, having a local environment allows you to experiment freely without worrying about breaking anything on a live site. So now the question is, what is a local development environment? A local development environment is essentially a software package that allows you to build and test websites or applications on your own computer rather than on a live server. It typically includes a web server, database, and a programming language, all of which are necessary for creating and testing web-based projects. Having a local development environment is important for several reasons. First, it allows you to work offline without any internet connection. This can be useful in if you are traveling or working in areas with poor connectivity. Second, it provides a safe and controlled environment for testing new features or changes to your website or application. Finally, it allows you to work more efficiently by providing a fast and responsive testing environment that is tailored to your specific needs. How to choose the right one for yourself? So, when it comes to choosing a local development environment, there are three main options RAM, WAM, and MAM. Each of these environments has its own strengths and weaknesses. So, it's important to choose the one that best fits your needs. These so, servers provide you with all the components that you require pre installed. That is, you just have to download one of the software. So, let us see one by one. XAMPP It is a cross platform environment that supports multiple programming languages and includes many useful tools and features. WAMP It is also a Windows specific environment that is easy to set up but not as powerful as other options. MAP It is a Mac specific environment that is known for its ease and use compatibility with many popular frameworks. Ultimately, the choice between these environments will come down to your personal preferences and the specific needs of your project. Consider factors like operating system, programming language and framework requirements when making your decision. In order to develop and run PHP web pages, there are essentially three components uh, needed and must be installed on your computer. First, web server. Web server is a program for saving web pages to use as in response to their request, for example, Apache and Microsoft. That is, when you search for a site on a browser, the site that it gives you as a response is the working of web server. Second, database. Second component we require is database server, which is a program to store and manipulate information usually refer referred as backend. And finally, we need a PHP interpreter to generate HTML output that can be sent to the web browser. There are many ways to install these components. The fastest way is to install softwares like XAMPP Server, which has everything pre-installed. Like we discussed, these software packages provide a complete stack for running PHP, Apache Web Server, MySQL database, and sometimes additional components like PHP MyAdmin. So let us begin with the installation of XAMPP server. So in the browser type XAMPP and the very first link that you see is the XAMPP installer. On the official page you will see that XAMPP contains Apache, MariaDB, PHP and Paul. This will be pre-installed once you install XAMPP server. So let us have a look at versions. As you can see there are different versions according to our operating system for Windows, for Linux and for Mac operating system. So with that I have a Windows operating system. I will be downloading the PHP 8.2 version for Windows operating system. So now once the download is complete, an exe file will be 
uh, install and this is the setup window after that so click on next and begin with the installation process these are all the components that are installed along with the XAMPP server as discussed earlier we require apache web server php interpreter and database some test of other additional components so in this you have to select the folder for storage of your files and other XAMPP related files click on next and the installation process will be begin After that, a control panel will be visible to XAMPP. From that, you can operate the XAMPP server. This is the control panel for XAMPP, and here are all the components listed. But for initial, we need only Apache and database. So here we will we'll start the services for Apache and MySQL on port 80 and 443 and 3306. So if you have any problem in starting the services, please check if you have a Skype running because it runs on 80, port number 80 by default. So it will cause a trouble to start the XAMPP server. And any other failure will be mentioned here in the bottom box. Now that we have installed XAMPP server, we will check the working. On the Google type localhost, and this is the admin page for ZAMP which contains all the details of your version that you have downloaded your PHP related info and my PHP my admin that is an interface to work with database. So it contains all the information about database server. Now we'll check the interface uh, where we will work with the database and tables. So these are by default some databases and then further in the course we'll study about how to import, how to export databases, create a database and perform various operations on the database and tables. Now let us see where the files are stored locally. So as we have given the path, open the folder where you have selected to save the XAMPP files. So here it contains all the main files for XAMPP server, the control panel, the PHP information and htdocs. The folder name is htdocs will contain your web server, web application files. As we start developing a web application, we will save the files here in this folder. In conclusion, setting up a local development environment can greatly benefit developers in their work. It allows for faster testing and debugging as well as providing a safe space to experiment with new code without affecting live websites and applications. By taking the time to set up your own local development environment, you are investing in your own skills and productivity. You will be able to work more efficiently and effectively, ultimately saving time and increase the quality of your work. So, hope this video helps you in set setting up and installing XAMPP or any other software for your computer device. Further in the course, we learn about developing your own web page and running it with the help of these softwares. Thank you.